Hi everyone, welcome to Zainan's Need PG 2022 Information Series. In this uh, video, we'll look at the fees, the different fee, the penalty, etc. that is required for Andhra Pradesh. Anything that is do that has to do with a fee or a penalty, we'll look at this uh, uh, for Andhra Pradesh in this particular video. Uh, this is for uh, based on the uh, uh, information that has been shared for 2022. In some cases, we don't have 2022 information. We have only 20, uh, 21 information. We'll mention those cases as well. Now, uh, the application fee, the application fee is 70, uh, 7,080 for OC and BC countries and 5,900 for AC and ST countries. In case you are an MBBS from outside Andhra Pradesh and you're eligible as local, then in that case, uh, MBBS is outside AP and TS and you're eligible as a non-local. In that case, for verification of your certificate uh, from the other uh, state uh, institute or university or foreign medical institute or university, you will have to pay a an additional amount, which is 3,550 if 40 if MBBS from is from outside AP, but uh, AP Telangana, but from India. If you are a foreign medical graduate, and an additional amount of 8,260 is to be paid. Fees includes JS, uh, GST and online payment credit card and debit card are allowed. And uh, online payment of credit card, debit card, and net banking can be done for this. This for the application part. Tuition fee comes in at the time of admission. At the time of admission, while you are uh, allotted, after you are allotted, you will need to pay 23,600 while downloading the allotment letter. And the tuition fee mentioned is to be paid at the, the institute. Uh, note that in Andhra, usual or Telangana, usually this amount is not refunded if you don't join or if you get upgraded to a different state counseling, etc. So uh, even for IAQ candidates, that is. So uh, now uh, government quota counseling, uh, government quota seats, uh, all seats under the government institutes, uh, uh, those seats are uh, uh, have a tuition fee of 38,875. SPIMS is an autonomous institute which pays a high stipend. We'll come to that. They have a tuition fee of 1,75,000 per annum. Private institutes, tuition fee is regulated by the fee regulatory authority. There is a challenge of on this tuition fee that is prescribed, which is mentioned here. Depending upon the outcome of the court order, this may change or basically increase. As of now, this is the fee that needs to be paid by the candidate with an affidavit mentioning that I will pay whatever fee which is finalized as per the high court order. So private institute fees are subject to the high court order. Resignation of joint seat after round three deadline. Uh, in case you resign a seat after round three deadline, usually this deadline is mentioned as round three, but this year, specifically this year, because after round two, you cannot upgrade in any state counseling, unlike last year, this may change, so have a look at it for 2022. What is the penalty? 3 lakhs plus 18 percentage GST is a penalty. For SVIMS alone, the penalty is 5 lakhs plus 18 percentage, which we'll mention later. The service bond discontinuation, you don't have a service bond in AP government institutes as of now, but SVIMS has a service bond for which 20 lakhs plus GST is a penalty if you don't complete. This is a one-year service bond, basically. We look at the service bond and penalty specifically again. There's no bond in AP for non-service candidates and no bond in AP for candidates allotted through XAEQ. SVIMS is, a, is an autonomous institute under the University Act of uh, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, under There's a service bond in SVIMS alone. There's one year service bond in SVIMS and a penalty of 20 lakhs plus GST. This should also be applicable for uh, SV Padmavadi. We'll just check that and let you know, but as of now, consider it as applicable because the prospectus mentions uh, there's a common prospectus for both. Now, there's a service bond for in-service candidates. We sent for non-service and candidates and candidates allotted through AAQ. Any non-service allotted through state government quota, there is no bond. For in-service candidates, there is a bond in-service. If incentives, service, incentives are availed, then six years are to be served in the same tribal, rural, or health service areas. Basically, you get in an in-service quota, then you need to serve six years. This was five years last year. This has been increased this year. And there is a penalty of 15 lakhs per stand replayed. There's a minor difference here. We're just modifying it, just give us a second. So we just modified this. Uh, it is 15 lakhs per year of non-rendering of service plus whatever salary or amount paid to the in-service candidate as tuition fee, whatever uh, amount was paid from the government is also recovered. 15 lakhs per year in the sense if you serve only two years, uh, then you'll uh, pay 15 lakhs for the rest four years each, 60 lakhs. Course discontinuation penalty, 3 lakhs plus 18 percentage GST in case you discontinue your course before completion after the deadline is prescribed. This is in government institutes. For SVMS, it is 5 lakhs plus 18 percentage GST. The stipend is mentioned here, uh, 44K, 46K, and around 49K for government in year 1, 2, 3. And the SVMS offers a higher stipend. Note that SVMS, like we mentioned, has a higher tuition fee as well. And the stipend, however, is more than overcompensates for the tuition. 
Now, this is the information on the fees type and bond and penalties involved in uh, uh, Uttar Pradesh Government Quota Counseling. In case there is any update, we'll update in the Telegram groups and in the uh, Zynard website. Uh, the Zynard website has complete information on Andhra Pradesh Government Quota Counseling data. Have a look at that information as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please share with others. Uh, and the next video on this will be on how to look at information in Zynard for Andhra Pradesh Government Quota.